The diagonal of a TV set is 52 inches long. Its length is 28 inches more than the height, one of those. Find the dimensions of the TV set. Okay, always draw a picture with these. Makes them so much easier. If you draw like me. There's the diagonal of the TV set and it's 52 inches long. Now here's the length. And here's the width. The length is 28 inches more than the width, the height rather, height. So that means however much the height is, the length is going to be 52 inches longer. And now what they want us to do is find the height and the length, I didn't put that down, but they do want the length as well. Would the would length, the length be, the be the height plus 28, 28 inches instead of yes, 50? Yes, it would, exactly. Good. So you're going to find the height, and then you're going to add 28 inches to it. Okay, so notice that this makes a right triangle or would if I had graphed it very carefully. So let us use the Pythagorean theorem as long as we're looking for the length of sides. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. This is A usually. The vertical side is usually A, the horizontal side is usually B, and the uh, slanted side, the hypotenuse, is absolutely always C. Okay, you could call that B and that A if you want to, but C has got to be the diagonal. All right, so, ah, but I wrote down the wrong thing, it's 28 rescued from a fate worse than death. 28. Okay. So here we go. A is going to be H, so I'll have H squared plus the length, which is H, H, bleh, H plus 28 squared equals C squared, which is 52 squared. Well, we're definitely going to need a calculator here. So 52 squared, I have no idea. 52 squared, enter. 2704. Well, I really should have checked out 28 squared too. We're going to have H squared plus H plus 28 times H plus 28. So we're going to have H squared plus. Okay. I'm going to take the H and multiply it by the H and the H and multiply it by the 28 and then the plus 28 and multiply it by the H and the plus 28 and multiply by the plus 28. So that will be H squared, uh-uh. H squared plus 28 H plus 28 H plus 28 times 28, which is 28 squared, equals 2704. So we will have 2h squared plus 56h plus, I don't know, 28 
squared, enter. 784, I hate big numbers. Okay, this is a quadratic equation, which means we pull this 2704 over here. I'm going to subtract that from both sides. 2h squared plus 56h plus 784 minus 2704 equals 2704 minus 2704. Did it from both sides, which gives me a zero over here, and then 784 minus 27, oh, 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 oh. Delete, delete, four. Thank goodness for delete. Enter. Negative 1920. We're going to need that again. Minus 1920. So 2h squared plus 56h minus 1920 equals zero. Now, whenever you factor, you have to pull out a common factor when it's there, and it definitely is here. So this will be two times h squared plus 28h plus half of 19, negative 1920, which is why I'm glad I kept it around. We're going to have that divided by 2. Enter. Negative 960 or minus 960. Equals 0. Now because this is an equation, I can do the same thing to both sides. I can divide out that number. So I have h squared plus 28h minus 960 equals 0. Now probably this is factorable, but I'm not sure I want to take the time to factor it. So, we're going to use the quadratic formula. X equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Wonderful. I should be an opera. X equals negative 28 plus or minus the square root of, 28 is positive, so 28 squared minus times, our coefficient here is one now, one times ugh, negative 960, all over 2 times a, so 2 times 1. Okay, so x equals negative 28 plus or minus the square root of something over 2, and we're going to find out the something. Clear. I want 
Okay, tw 28 squared minus 4 times 1, that's still minus 4, times negative 960. Okay, 28 squared minus 4 times negative 960, enter. That'll be 4624. Let me write that down first. Now, I'm going to take the square root of 4624 and see if it's a perfect square. And I'm betting it is. Um, okay, so we are going to take the square root, second x squared of 4624. Enter. It is 68. So X, let me move this over, move it over a little bit. I get tired of being cramped for room all the time. We'll have negative 28 minus 68 over positive two and X equals negative 28 plus 68 over two. Okay, now that's going to be negative. Negative 28 minus 68 is going to be a negative number. You can find it if you want to, but here's where you remember. Oh, I should have said H equals. Let's correct that right now. because there ain't no X in the problem. So I should have sang H equals, but I will spare you. H, 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 H. Looks like an N. There. Okay, this is going to be a negative height. I'm not familiar with negative heights, must mean down in the ground, but I don't want a TV that's down in the ground. I'm going to go for this, which is going to be uh, 40 over 2, which is going to be 20. So I am betting that my height is going to be 20 inches. And my my base, the length. Is going to be H 20. Plus 28. Which is 48. Does that look right? Oh, we could always square that, square that, add it together, see if we get 2704, but I'm not sure I care that much. Um, that what a terrible thing to say, but I want to go on. I want to move on. So that's the right way to do it anyway. Or you could have factored it. Just the fact that you get a nice round number over here means you could have factored it, but I just didn't have the patience. Also, I wanted to review the quadratic formula with you. Okay, now these are hard, and I remember when I was a student, I felt so glad to master it. Once you get it mastered, you realize it's not hard, but until you do, it is hard. So you've got this open box, which is made from a 30 centimeter by 50 centimeter piece of tin. 
and you're you're going to cut out these little squares from each corner and then fold up the box so it looks like that. The area of the base of the box is 924 square centimeters. What is the length of the sides of this little bitty guy right here? We have to find X. Well, notice that if you make the base of the box, very bad base. Anyway, notice that for this, this length, you've got to take off an X from 50, it was 50, but that much got cut out and then that much got cut out and I'm calling that length X. So an X and an X got cut out of this 50 centimeters. So this length is going to be 50 minus 2X. And the same thing for the 30, it was 30, but then that that X <clears throat> centimeters got cut out of it. And then this X centimeters got cut out of it. So what used to be 30 is now 30 minus 2X. And this is the length and this is the width. And if they were asking, X is actually the height. They're not asking though. No. What they are asking is find out what X is. So we're going to do that because we know that the area, it's a rectangle. The base of the box is a rectangle. And we know that the area of a rectangle is length times width. And we're told that the area is 924 square centimeters. So that's going to equal 50 minus 2x times 30 minus 2x. And that is how you set up the problem. So we'll have 924, although I bet you can handle it just fine from here. We will continue with the word problems next time. Because we have to do these, which are based on analyzing analyzing a quadratic function. Actually, all you have to be able to do is find the vertex for all of them. So I bet you could do it yourself tonight. But I'm gonna go over it anyway. Okay, so this is going to be 1500. Minus 100x, didn't mean to leave it red, minus 60x, plus 4x squared. So 924 equals 4x squared minus 160 x plus 1500. And then I subtract 924 from both sides. So I can get a zero over here, but I have to do it over here as well. plus 1500 
thousand, no, hundred, minus 924, enter. Now I'm guessing that I said 924. Yes, minus 924, that's going to be 576. Positive, because the bigger number is positive. And you got a positive answer. That's another way you know. 576. All right, now I'm going to pull out a GCF. I'm, I know four will go into there. Let's see if it'll go into here evenly. 576 is in memory, so all I have to do is divide by 4. Enter. And it does. 144. All right, so we'll have 4 times x squared minus 40x plus 144. And I'll divide out the 4 and divide out the four. Boom, that's zero. This cancels, or it turns into one, either way. That's why canceling works. Now I know 144 is 12 squared, but 12 plus 12 does not equal 40. So we're going to have to do some work here. But how much work? If we're trying to figure out how to factor this, um, that would be, well, let's start with 12 times 12. And if I separate that into 3 times 4, and four times two, what would happen if I took a two over here and I had three times four times two? Ah, uh, that wouldn't work. That would give me 24 times 24. No, okay. If it's not easy to factor, I now have a great tool and it has an X in it x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And that's going to equal, now be careful here because your b is negative, negative, negative 40, plus or minus the square root of negative 40 in parentheses squared minus four times one times 144 over two times one. That's much too small. So let me write it again, equals. Negative negative 40, which is positive 40, plus or minus the square root of negative 40 squared minus 4 times A times C over 2 times 1, which is 2. Okay, so I will what I do, what I like to do, is I don't like to do it all in one step because it's too easy to make a mistake. So I like to figure out what it is under the radical first and kind of do it in steps because it's cleaner and I don't have to worry about combining steps. Okay. So what is this going to be? It's going to be parentheses. I've got to pull it all the way up. Okay. 
I'll make it big again in a minute. All right, 40, positive 40. We're going to have clear 40 minus 4 times 1 is still minus 4 times 144. Oh, 40 squared. Crap. I, I didn't say that. 40 squared minus 4 times 144. That's negative 40 squared, but don't tell anybody I did it that way. Okay, now we're going to take the square root of 1024. Thirty-two. So this is going to be forty plus or minus thirty-two over two. So x, the, the side of the little square, is going to equal forty minus thirty-two over two, which is going to be eight over two, which is four, or x equals 40 plus 32 over 2, which is 72 over 2, which is 36. Well, given that this side is only 30, what would happen if one side of the square was 36 inches, which would be longer than the whole height? Can't happen. Doesn't make any sense in this context. So sometimes both your answers can be positive, but one of them won't make sense in a word problem. Four centimeters definitely makes sense. So the side of the little centimeter there, the, uh, the side of the little square there is four centimeters. Now, as it is in this homework, there are only two problems. So you now have all the homework for, um, um, yeah, going back to analyzing quadratic functions and the homework for word problems based on solving quadratic equations. Next time, we're going to do word problems that deal with finding the vertex, maximizing and minimizing real life quantities like minimizing cost and maximizing profit. All right, that's what we're going to be doing next time. See you then. Hang around if you have questions. In looking at the modules on Canvas, on my end, I don't see where week seven or week eight have been added. Uh-oh. They've been added. I just didn't publish them, so thank you. Okay, thank you. I'll do that first thing.